So this is the blue DRO. So black box. We have the scales plugged in. USB connectors. Are, uh, these are minis, I think. This is the power. Little 9 volt wall adapter, wall ward. I made a little aluminum plate and just screwed it to the wall. So now I have uh, you know nice the flexible leads here and plenty of travel space. And then right here on my toolbox mount, which uh, you've probably seen uh, with two uh, old uh, I used uh, two old monitor mounts, ganged them together with a board and plenty strong enough to hold a toolbox. So here's the this is the uh, Nexus and I just threw up some wood pieces there to hold this at an angle for me for now. And we'll go to the DRO. I mean this is that simple. Now I've already turned Bluetooth on obviously with the unit but and just hit connect. Oops, hit connect. Wants to connect to the device. Hit connected. There we go. That fast and that easy. Boots up fast. There's my XZ and X uh, there. And we'll zoom in a little bit here so we can take a closer look at it. All right, I did the best I can get rid of the glare on the screen here. But you can do a few things. Uh, you can have uh, three axes also. Uh, this there's three plugs for X, Y, and Z, but I have it in lathe mode, and I turned off the Y axis because I only have two scales: the crossfeed X and the carry to Z. Uh, so you can see how they change the crossfeed and the carriage. Uh, boy, lots of good features here. You can. Uh, have one in absolute, one in incremental mode if you want, or you have them both in absolute, both in incremental. Uh, you can reset zero on both real quick here, or you can put it in absolute and reset zero also. Uh, you can, uh, inch or millimeters, uh, just it's in inch mode now, just tap and it's in millimeters. You can change the number of decimal places where you want three or four decimal places or three decimal places or two decimal places uh, in millimeters uh, which is really nice you can uh, ra uh, have a radius or diameter readout on your for your uh, crossfeed there uh, it's in radius right mode and so that's the same it reads the same as the dial and if I put it in diameter how much of material am I taking off right? Oh, you can save your tools. You can make a cut, call it your zero point, right? You can tap on that, and I can tap on the number and set the number after I measure it. And let's say it's a point two five zero after I took my cut. Set dimensions. So now it is 250 and I can make sure the sign is right of which way for my feed, let's say, whether I want to count up or down. And uh, we're good. And, and I want to take it down to uh, 1875, so I uh, negative uh, was, was the uh, correct direction, yeah. So I was at 250, but we can just say okay down to 18316, 1875, and uh, there roughly. <laughs> there we go, 1875. Take my cut, and that's the diameter of the work uh, once I'm uh, done, finish my cut. Hopefully, that's the plan, right? And because it's in, it's in because it's in diameter mode. So that's a very nice feature. You can do that. You can do this on either scale, right? Uh, well, on the on this scale, you can actually have the half of what's half of that, right? For radius and or dimensional measures, how you measured it, right? And you can also just zero zero that one if you want. Uh, lots of good features here. Uh, you could set up tools. Do your tool offsets. 
and uh, if you're going to do a bunch of work and have your tools ready, you can just set all your tools and and then change your tool. You set you can uh, here you you save them, and I have I could save them here. I have Logan here as the lathe, and you can have a little library, or they call them workspaces. So lots of great little features with this. Uh, if you have it in mill mode, there's a lot of calculations that we'll do for bolt circle. It will do bolt circle and other hole layouts. Also, for uh, what mode you're in, you can go into settings up here. And like I said, you could have uh, choose the bank is the storage of, or your libraries for your tools. You can go to machine type, vertical mill, lathe, horizontal mill, readout format. Uh, three digits in inches, two digits millimeters, four digits inches, three digits millimeters, then uh, three digits and two digits and four digits and three digits in millimeters. So, uh, I have it in four digits in inches, three digit, digits in millimeters right now. Uh, let's see what else. Of course, if you, you know, and you can change this anytime you want. I probably should be running on this lathe at three digits and two digits for the millimeters, and then you could just then you just go back, and the the display is now changed. Now it won't bounce around very much as much either. Uh, also, you can uh, uh, a metric mode here. You have some other choices. Uh, you can change the font, but down here on your each your scales, you have your this is where you do your calibration. On counts per inch, your label, how you can change your labels. Like I have it say X and it say cross feed. So you could, you could give it a name. You can call it uh, Sweetie Pie. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can invert your readout. A digital filter here gives it so it will average out five reading readings and you turn it off and you won't get so much flickering uh, with your readings. Of course if you only have three digits uh, you probably don't need that on but with the four digits you do. And you have your X, Y, and Z. You also can hook up your uh, on here they have W access, access uh, or enable a tachometer hookup. You, I don't know, I'm not familiar with how to hook that up but there is another port uh, that you can hook up for USB. So Lots of great features. This is very cool. Plus, it's portable. Plus, all I could I could uh, have different uh, setups. Like if I have a, I had these. Let's say I had these on my mill. I could just take this and say, okay, now it's a mill readout, and Bluetooth it to the blue DRO I would have on my mill, and now it's the mill readout, and it only have one monitor screen. This is a very cool idea, and it. I'm not saying it's so simple and easy to hook up. It's just just plug it in, turn on Bluetooth, tell it to connect, and you're up and running. Very, very nice. So, so I'm not sure the cost. You'll have to check out the website. I'll have the link up in there uh, to uh, to get to the Blue DRO. And uh, I think they're about $130, I think. Anyway, <laughs> I probably should look, but anyway, check them out. Uh, blue, BlueDRO.com. Very cool. I, I'm very impressed with this, how easy it is to set up and how well it works. Farther back, you can just see how here's the carriage, and I'll stand here at the lathe, and then there's the display. It's right there within arm's reach uh, to do any changes. Yeah. Very slick. Uh, I still I have my let's see if you can see my box still here. Oops, my box up here where I had the other displays, and this is my tachometer uh, readout I have up here. Very nice compact setup for especially the small lathe. Anyway, very impressed. Well worth it.